locked up, Dreadnoughts. We can all rest as much as we want after we reach. Oh, that chopper look a wee bit like we've seen it before, eh? I should think so. I'll never forget anything that takes a shot at me. That's one of the helicopters that raided our lair in Florida. Ripped it me with the sheep before was that ain't right. See the pretty house sits across the tail. Shut up, Ripper. You wouldn't recognize your own mother if she wasn't wearing a name tag. You sure that's the same one, Buzzer? Dead set. That's a Dragonfly helicopter with Geojo modifications in markets. The battle damage corresponds to confirmed hits in Florida. Is she a name tag? I'll blow off the shore. In that case, I'm going to check it out. Eh? Yeah. Someone's gonna walk into a high security military installation just like that? Hey Eddie, is this guy glowing and shimmering or what? You'd be shining in the sunlight too if you had a bird on the of brass hanging off your class A's. At ease. That was the head honcho of the G.I. Joe team. I hear he turned down a star on his shoulder board to stay with the unit. No kidding. Hawk, glad you could make it. We got a couple of wounded Joes just up from Florida. Slow down, boys. I ain't in no hurry to take a ride through Jersey in a meat wagon. Besides, I need to job bit with old man. We lost another helicopter, Hawk, but there ain't nothing left to Cobra's Florida operation but a charred stretch of song. Uh, well done, uh, Trooper. Trooper? You think he didn't know your name, Wild Bill? Man's got a lot on his mind. You won't regret this, Mr. Broker. You've bought yourself and your family a fine house in a terrific neighborhood. Oh, Fred, it's beautiful. Much nicer than that tract house back in Springfield. Moved out here by your company, Fred? Yes, exactly. A step up, you know. Well, you'll love it here. Nice and quiet, and a chaplain's assistant school next door. Can't beat that for respectability. You saw what? Are you absolutely certain, Zartan? McGuire was the point of origin of the transport plane that took me to the Rockies. Cobra Commander thinks that the G.I. Joe headquarters may be hidden somewhere on McGuire Air Force Base. He wants us to stick around and keep an eye on the place. So, we better go about making ourselves at home. Here? I may be a rude boy, and a demon at that. But I don't keep on tire racks and lounge about on hydraulic glyphs. You shouldn't ought to treat your dead knocks bad, Zartan. I dare say, more suitable lodgings would seem in order. And a fridge full of great soda. And, and chocolate-covered donuts. Homesick, eh? Easily fixed. Home sweet home. <laughs> you folks sure have a lot of fragile electronic there. Well, I have seen the future, and it's made of microchips. Oh? Never mind. Those movers would have keeled over if they'd found out what was really in those boxes. The assault rifles might have startled them, but most people don't know electronic surveillance gear when they see it. And we have got a load of it. Passive night sights, parabolic microphones, infrared detectors, refraction scopes, ground wave oscillographs, and an ANI PPS-5 non-coherent pulse Doppler radar unit. It'll take hours to set it all up. It'll be set up and operational by midnight. We're not going to miss anything. Yow! Who's driving this meat wagon? Clutch? That no good guy is trying to hit every pothole on Staten Island. Take it easy, Wild Bill. We're right at the gates. Head straight for the motor pool. And cut that siren. We don't want to get the chaplain's assistant in an uproar. You ever had to mess with an angry chaplain's assistant? You gotta duck all those guided missiles. While Bill must be getting better, his puns are getting worse. First meat wagon's on the way down. Have medical bay stand by. Let's go. We have to transfer Wild Bill and Deep Six to the personnel elevator. Move it. There's three more levels down to the medical bay. It's nice to know my buddies care about me. No way. 
We just laid down all this new floor tile, and we don't want you bleeding all over it. You got a lot of heart clutch. Get that other one out here. Maybe if Doc puts his mind to it, he can get you back on your feet in time for the opening ceremonies. Opening ceremonies will take place during team formation. Nobody misses formation in my outfit, Hawk. I must be delirious. You were back at McGuire Field not more than 20 minutes ago. Impossible. Hawk's been here all day. We've been feeding the computer the new security programs for hours, and he hasn't left our sight. Then who did Wild Bill and Doc see out at McGuire? Zartan, this is Cobra Commander. Do you copy? Read you loud and clear. Over. I'm convinced that McGuire Field is the location of G.I. Joe headquarters. And I'm taking steps to neutralize it. I'm moving a Cobra assault team into position for a raid tonight. We are traveling under cover, of course. There's a small job I would like your dreadnoughts to do for me. So that's how they move his tanks around the country. Now if I can only get my hands on the computer access codes for internal security. What would you do, Billy? Try to harm our precious Cobra Commander? Do you hate him that much? You know this kid, Baroness? Indeed I do, my dear Major Blood. Billy has an attitude problem. He resents what Cobra did to his father. He also resents what was done to him while he was a guest in Dr. Venom's dungeon. Perhaps he resents Cobra enough to join our cause. I understand perfectly, Cobra Commander. The Dreadnoughts are to recon the perimeter fence at McGuire Field and cut the fence nearest the tower at zero minus ten. Lovely. You heard the orders. And don't get carried away. All set and ready to snoop. If there's any G.I. Joe activity in Fort Wadsworth, they'll never be able to conceal it from us. Hello, Fred Broca speaking. What? When? Why? Back to Springfield? Back to driving that stupid ice cream truck again? Fred, what? Cobra Commander found G.I. Joe headquarters. All the CGs have been recalled. Arg! Ten hours I left this gear, and I didn't even get a chance to turn it on for one minute. It took Hawk a few hours to track down the sentries that were on duty at the gate when the fake Hawk entered the wire. That glowing and shimmering, they reported, could have been the side effects of a holographic projection. And we've been getting reports of a new holographic camouflage expert working for Cobra. Zartan, he calls himself. Must be a pretty heavy guy if we need all this stuff to take it. Here we are, mates. It's your turn, Reaper. Let's see what that blade of yours can do. Chinese senses keep set. He's smart, my junction. There's plenty on that field to cut, burn, and saw. Let's have a go at the fun stuff. I dare say, Zartan told us not to. What? You turned and sissy on us? We got that old candy bands riding with the dreadnoughts. Dead on, old chap. Zartan's just a spoil sport. Now you're talking like a dreadnoughts buzzer. We just sneak around back of the tower. And as long as we don't start a fire or blow something up, they'll never know we was here. Good show. I'll start on this helicopter. That was too easy. <laughs> they don't make cars the way they used to. I say, that and dead Cobra Commander was a stickler for detail. I've just detailed this plane. <laughs> detail? Detail? I get it. Ha! We're moving a lot of heavy equipment on a rather flimsy evidence hawk. Better safe than sorry. Unload the hiss tanks and snap helicopters. They are to stand by to cover withdrawal of the insertion unit. They are not to engage targets or move from their deployment points. Our last action against the G.I. Joe headquarters was a direct frontal assault. It was wasteful and costly. 
This time, we'll do it the clever way. The quiet way. Have the snappers mine the hole in the fence left for us by the dreadnoughts. This should deter anyone from following us on our way out. Hey, watch it, brother. Always passing through that holy old strong The old plane will come crashing down. Get back. She's gonna... One of the Sky Strikers just blew up! Right in the middle of the G.I. Joe security area! Sound red alert! Hit the direct wire to the pit! The whole field has exploded. I've been alerted. That blows our covert insertion, but good! Regroup! We're going to take them the hard way! Charge! Take the tower first! Vehicles approaching at top speed, Cobra Commander! Can you identify them? Yes, they're... Dreadnoughts! You're going the wrong direction! Hey! What were they doing on the base? They were just supposed to cut the fence and leave. Those fools went inside and blew something up! They're the ones that botched my plan. Let them go! I'll deal with them later. Take the tower! Think we should go back? Get my hand. What? You can't swat it across the top, man? No thanks, mate. Besides, Pete, by going back and helping, we increase his Cobra Commander's chances of getting out in one piece. And we're only really in trouble if it gets out at all. Really rather clever of you, Torch. What? You hear that whistling sound? Incoming rocket! Three of them are on motorcycles. Trap them between us and the fence. Don't just stand there gawking like the idiots you are. Get on your scoots and get them into your faces. Ha! Huh. Just got a report from the tower. The main force is attacking the airfield. Ride, Dreadnoughts! Ride! Let them go. Head in for the tower and interdict the main force. That's it. Don't bother ranging. Just walk your rounds into the tower. They'll cut the tower in two any second! We've got nothing to stop them. Hit them with the searchlight, baby. Ah! Too bright! Knock out those lamps. I'll cover you. Take a pass to the tower. Roger! Scratch one tower! Helicopter! He's shooting out the lights! No, he's just lining us up to launch his rockets! Good shot, Clutch. Almost as good as the shot Steeler made that disintegrated one of the Hiss tanks. Must have happened while I was aiming. Here comes the other Hiss. That's Cobra Commander in that Hiss. Sure would be nice to recapture that sleazy rat. It would be, but he's got to jump on Hawk. Can't be helped, Steeler. Swat him. Switch to helmet frequency. Come in for me under cover of the smoke! Now, stay low and keep the flame and the bloom from the burning hiss between us and the Joes! You hear that? It sounded like a helicopter. Could be machine gun ammo going off in the fire. Back off. The heavy stuff is gonna... Explode. Don't worry, Ace. Uncle Sam will buy you another Sky Striker. I just about had this one broken in. Well, we made it, Destro. When do we start to get our revenge against Cobra Commander? We start by finding a phone booth and reporting to Cobra Commander in Springfield. What? And let Cobra Commander know we've escaped from Florida? Yes. We must convince him nothing is wrong. He must believe we are ignorant to his treachery. Then. When his guard is down, and he least expects it. <laughs>